Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in this week's video I'm going to talk about my favorite designer pieces, kind of like my designer wish list. So I picked my fa so I picked my 10 favorite I So I picked my 10 favorite outfit. So I picked my 10 favorite items and I would like to share them with you so you might get a little bit of inspiration. I know Christmas is a little away but it's kind of around the corner isn't it and maybe you want to treat yourself to something very nice for christmas or right now who knows so i thought why not share my wish list with you if you like the video please leave a like and subscribe to my youtube channel i would be very very grateful but without further ado let's get right into the video so item number one that I picked is the Sicily bag from Dolce & Gabbana. Ever since I saw this bag, I really just fell in love with it. And every day that I look at it, I, th I think it gets more and more beautiful. I think it's such an elegant bag, such a timeless piece. And I think you can wear it with every outfit, basically. I really like the size. It doesn't fit my laptop, unfortunately, which is a shame. But other than that, I think it's perfect. I believe it's gonna look very, very nice with all of my outfits. I would probably go for a beigey color. I really like that. And they have, which I love, they've got a quilted version of this bag, and I think it's gorgeous. I think it's such a beautiful, bag almost piece of art I, I was going to say but I really really love that one and I think it looks so beautiful so I can't really decide which one I want to go for like the quilted one or the like normal leather one they are really really gorgeous bags so I would love to get one of them okay so item number two is the Burberry scarf and it's not like the normal Burberry scarf. I love that one as well, like the, the beige with the red stripe. I really, really like it. But there's a version that has lighter colors, like white and very light beige. And I think this one is absolutely gorgeous. I love it. It's made from cashmere. It's two meter long and I think 36 centimeters wide. And this is absolutely perfect. I tried it on this in the store. And the thing is like, accessories I think are very very important when you're like doing your outfit because I was wearing that day I tried it on I was wearing my off-white jumper cashmere jumper from Lily Silk my Max Mara camel skirt and a brown pair of tights brown pair of shoes and it looked very nice together but as soon as I put on the scarf I kind of felt like the outfit was complete so the third item I picked is a belt and it's the Gucci belt. It's got gold hardware. It's like in this tan color. It's really, really nice and thin. I think it's like two centimeters thin. So I really like that. And I think it's just perfect if you've got like a nice jumper dress to, to cinch yourself in at the waist, or if you've got like shirt dress, it's also very nice. Or just as a accessory to wear with your skirts and your trousers in general. So I really, really like the belt therefore, as well as like the gold buckle because it's just a little statement. And also I think it's a nice way to get into designer items because yes, it is expensive, but it's like not a trench coat or a coat or things or a very expensive Chanel bag. So you can kind of afford it and it's a nice way to just get into your designer items. Okay, item number four is a pair of shoes and they are the Stuart Weitzman over the knee boots. I really, really like their look ever since I saw them and I would go for the brown, like the chestnut color because I think they're just a little, I don't know, softer probably than the black ones. They're suede leather, so that's something to note. You can't wear it when it's heavily raining, but apart from that, they're gorgeous. They've got a uh, nice, what do you call it? Strap? Band? <laughs> I don't know. To tie it at the top of the shoe to, to hold it in place when you're wearing it. And I really like the color. The only thing is it's a bit tight on my foot, but that's just because I've got very wide feet. So I guess for a lot of people, that's not gonna be a problem. But for me, I noticed it's a bit tight. 
apart from that they're gorgeous i tried them on in store they look absolutely beautiful absolutely stunning so i would i would highly recommend them try them on and see if they fit for you and yeah that's item number four guys so item number five is a little accessory again it's a card holder and I went for the Chanel card holder because I really like Chanel. Their bags are very expensive. So again, I think it's just a very easy way to get into your Chanel without like spending thousands of euros, pounds, whatever. So it's not only as an accessory, it's also very practical. So therefore, I think it's a very, very nice item to have in your bag and carry around with you every day. Okay, so we're halfway through. The next item is going to be the small zipped base water bag from Mulberry. And ever since I saw this bag, I kind of fell in love because I really like the design. I think it's very, very chic, very timeless. I would probably go for like a brownish color just because, as I said in a few videos, I think my next bag is going to be brown. Just because I think it's more versatile and a little more softer than black. So I would probably go for the brown color, but yeah, it's really, really nice. Again, it doesn't fit my laptop, unfortunately, like the small one. But apart from that, I think you can fit a water bottle, you can fit all of your essentials. So I really like that bag and I really, really want to get it. Okay, item number seven is a coat. Um, it's a coat from Maximara. I don't really have a particular one in mind. I just know that their coats are really really good quality they use amazing materials i just like them so i would probably go for a lighter color which they do like a light beige or a white i kind of think it's really nice to have a light coat in winter just because most of the time it's gray so i think like having a light colored coat is really nice and as well you see so many people wearing black in winter which is totally fine i love a good black coat but just to do something different, I think a light colored coat would be really, really exciting and very, very nice to wear. So that's why I decided on that for myself. But yeah, I think the Maximara coats are just really, really nice quality. Okay, item number eight is a suitcase. So I love the Globetrotter suitcases and I really like the light colored one. So I think the color is called Ivy and Natural. I've watched a few videos how Globetrotter suitcases are made and they're really, really good quality. Like all of the steps that go into it, I'm, I'm very amazed by it. And I really like the colors. I think it looks so, so pretty. They come in a lot of different sizes. So you've got like a carry-on, you've got a normal luggage, a large luggage suitcase. So I kind of want to get all of them. Unfortunately, they're quite pricey, so that's gonna have to wait, I guess, but I really like them. And I think traveling with nice suitcases is, I don't know, it kind of feels different. Right now I have suitcases that I don't really like, they do their job, but I think it's gonna be different when you have something that you love with you. I don't know, it's probably gonna feel a lot more luxurious to to travel around so that's why i'd be quite excited to have one or two or three <laughs> of their suitcases all right so let's talk about item number nine and um, it's a pair of sunglasses so again as i said with the belt i think a pair of sunglasses is a very nice way to slowly get into your designer uh, items they are expensive, but they're not crazy expensive, so you can actually get one without going bankrupt. Well, that's a bit like too much, but you know what I mean. You can get them and it's not going to hurt as much as if you get something that costs like 3,000 euro pounds, dollars, whatever your currency is. So yeah, I went for the Prada sunglasses. It's like a rectangular shape. It's really nice, it's quite bold, but not huge. I love huge sunglasses, don't get me wrong, but at the same time, I don't have a pair of sunglasses yet. So I think going with one that's a little more like everyday kind of look is smarter. And also I would go for a brown again because it looks a lot softer than a black one. I love black sunglasses and for my second third one i'm probably going, gonna go for a black one i really like the 
a little more bitchy look that it gives you, like a little more drama queen, as well as the very, very big sunglasses that cover half of your face. I'm very much into it, but I thought for my first pair of sunglasses, I'd go with something that's a bit more everyday use, and it's still bold, but it's not jumping the gun. Okay, guys, so we're almost done, and item number 10 is the Burberry trench coat. I've mentioned it in a few videos. I really, really love them. Ever since I tried it on in store, I'm in love. I'm not gonna get any other trench coat apart from this one because it fits so nicely and it's such good quality. So I would go for the long Chelsea Heritage trench coat because it's a bit more fitted. And I would go for the long version because you can always shorten your trench coat, but you can't really lengthen it. So if I ever get tired of the length, I could cut it off, but I don't think so. I really like the long look. I would go for the color honey because I really, really like the light brown, beigey tones. So this is the perfect trench coat for me, really. And I will get it someday and I will love it till the rest of my life because I think it's so, so pretty and so timeless. You can't go wrong with this trench coat, really. So yeah, this is my item number 10. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this week's video. I'm gonna link all of the products in the description box down below for you to check them out if you fell in love with one of them as well. So I hope I could inspire you a little bit with my top 10 designer picks maybe even for your Christmas wish list. I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. It would be incredible. I hope you're gonna have a lovely week. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for next week's video. Goodbye.